Hello everyone. Right now you're going to see a little haul at the start of this video but I haven't actually filmed that part yet. I am going to get some tattoos um, and what a day I've had. We've been locked out two days in a row now. Um, our fault the first time, second time our landlord is just like a beyond the shambles. Um, so yeah we are I've been locked out so now I'm in a rush to go get my tattoos but enjoy this sh this um, part of the video where I try on some really funky new clothes and then I hope you like my new tattoos as well. So yeah I will be, I'll see this version of me at the end of the video but enjoy this part okay. So yeah this is the Kaya part of the video. Hi everyone. Um, I do have a discount code, we'll leave it on the screen. I'll also just say out loud, it's Molly M15. That'll get you 15% off on the website. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to try everything on, show you guys what I've got. Firstly, I've just paired with like my own um, jeans because I don't really have any bottoms like in the hole that I thought would go. But I got this cute wee top, look how gorge. The sleeves come off like so which I feel like is quite um, a look at the moment, isn't it? The sleeves being like um, detached from the top, but very cute. Cool with black leather, I was thinking, for like a night out, but also cute with jeans. Um, and I love anything that goes like over your wrist. I don't know, something very funky about it. Also, if you see like wee bits, um, you will see later on in the video that I do get tattoos. So, sorry about that, but yeah, first, item is this gorge wee top um, and then I'm going to try on like a wee suit for you so next up so next up we have this like oversized baggy suit I obviously have just had this wee yellow like bralette on but you could wear like a wee black bralette with it and like leave it open like bugger like so pretty cool outfit also like stylish and cool which I always tell people to do at Halloween. I feel like you should really make your own of Halloween. So you could really use this and do like a zebra costume, just paint some zebra make makeup but also just like it is a cool suit isn't it? And then it's got these like slip bits at the bottom. You could wear like docks with them. They're a tiny bit long for me because I am quite short but um, you could wear like docks or heels like something chunky and um, just because when it's a flare I feel like you need something that's like going to heighten you um but yeah really gorgeous the material is really lovely i also feel like you could wear this with like a wee white vest and just some jeans and trainers and um, just to jazz up like a jeans and blazer sort of look but yeah i love the full suit together it's kind of like an off-white creamy and um, super nice quality gorgeous wee buttons as you can see um but yeah lovely gorgeous wee suit i feel really cool in it and it's also not like your original like your classic suit trousers it has like pockets and belt loops as if it's like um jeans kind of but like not that material so yeah very cute so a wee casual number i've got these wee cream like beige combat um i keep wanting to put my hands in the pockets it's weird for a joggy not to have a pocket um but yeah they have like the wee Kaya label on them, just like oversized, cute joggies. Um, and then I put, paired this wee cropped baggy top. Um, it says Montana on it. Sorry, a lot of this stuff is creased. It's been sitting, I've been sitting waiting to film this for ages. Um, but yeah, very, very nice this top. I feel like this would also be nice with leggings um, just because it's so oversized and baggy. But I like how the colours match in this. You can also just tuck that in. We paid of like a uh, triple S because I know literally everyone on the planet has them. Um, real or fake, I feel like everyone will have a pair. Um, but yeah, very cute wee casual outfit. I feel like it's perfect for me doing the Manchester to Glasgow drive every weekend. But yeah, I, I really like this wee top actually. Um, I don't really, I feel like I have so many um, oversized t-shirts but I don't have any that are cropped. So I like that that is something a bit different to my oversized t-shirt collection um, but yeah um, for, forgot to say I will leave a link below for all of these items um, and you can obviously shop them ah! my hair keeps getting caught in my um, tattoo for my, my neck like the sticker that's on it ouch 
how absolutely gorgeous is this? First of all, the slit, it, it's everything for the dress. Um, it's ribbed, it's thick material, it's long, it covers the hands, it's very, very, very nice neckline. Look, how lovely is that? Super flattering. Feel like you could wear this with like a baggy, like oversized shirt and some docks or trainers, but also you could wear with like a cream heel and then it's a night out dress as well. And a night out dress that you don't have to feel like self-conscious in because it's that lovely thick material that kind of rouges in the middle here. Very flattering. Love this slip. Can't stress enough how much I love the slit. It does it, it makes the dress um really lovely and I just got that in my size and it's really really nice quality um for those that care for that sort of thing. Um obviously I have an ugly pre-mark brown, but seriously obsessed with the neckline. How nice. Big gold hoop, um like all gold jewellery, a big and then a like a sleek cream heel. Lovely. Really good stuff. Love this dress. Do you want to see a close up of the material? Mm -hmm. Big fan. So next up we have this Sage um, Weak Cord. Uh, I don't know if I've tied it right. I always get these things confused. But I think I've done it right. Cute at the back. So this is a sweet crop top. Um, like I tightened the sleeves because they were quite loose. Gorgeous waistline. Really, really like how this has like a thick band. It's very flattering and makes your legs look longer. And I've tied a wee bow in the middle. One th thing I would say is they are very long. But with a heel, I think they would be fine. I think they would be covering my feet, but like in that like chic, like Victoria Beckham way. Um, but yeah, really, really nice material. Um, perfect size in the top for a, a six. I feel like I struggle sometimes with the top half when the trousers are so long. But yeah. Really, really nice style and would be lovely for a night out at the moment. I feel like Sage is a very nice transitional colour. Um, look at my arms, man, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, Sage is a very nice tra transitional colour. I feel like with a cream oversized blazer, this could look very, very nice. Um, but yeah, really lovely. Big fan. Um, you guys know I love this colour. And I feel very like again like Victoria Beckham vibes it's just very chic and very cool um yeah don't forget to use my discount code if you are buying these items by the way got much of flying about the fourth floor there I'm out of breath what the hell so obviously this could be doing with a steam especially the top half but I would like to share these trousers with you how stunning are they they're not super wide leg well I would say they're wide leg but like really nice and fitted up the top and just a perfect, perfect length for me. Whereas the other ones were a bit long, like I can work around them, but these are like the perfect length. Um, I am five foot two slash three and a size six. So if you're that height, get these treasures, truly amazing. And then this really oversized blazer is so nice. The color, as you can see on camera, showing up really well, really stunning. Docks or high heels or even like a new balance trainer with this stunning really a wee cropped white vest with it i'm, I'm so sorry i'm so impressed oh my dad um so impressed with this really really big fan i'm actually going to take this home with me at the weekend and see if i can shoot with it because it's really nice um oh i love this massive fan I've not had the chocolate soup before. I really, really like the colour. I have a burgundy suit that I got in Topshop Personal Shopping about five million years ago. That's like a fitted suit and then I wore it as um, the Joker for Halloween and it's kind of giving me like those vibes, like just one of those suits I'll never get rid of. Um, anyway, let me show you the rest. Sometimes for such a colourful like outfit person, sometimes I just I, I die for an outfit like this. Now, I'm not wearing the right pants, so the... The leggings, I'm not doing them justice, but they're really, really gorgeous and they're ribbed. I've never seen them in a colour like this, really obsessed, very, very flattering. Got a lovely wee Kai a bit here, and then this top, oh, like the cupped boob bit, but no wire, really, really comfortable, no bra needed, long sleeve. Don't hold me. Sorry, about half an hour ago, my camera ran out of battery, so I thought I'd quickly go charge it, recharge myself as well, really need some water. As I was saying, I feel, I feel like a spy kids person when these have to be thumb holes. Um, but yeah, gorgeous. I'm thinking cap, black trench coat or big black bomber, um, chunky 
darker style trainers maybe like my mocha jordans lovely wee outfit love these leggings and obsessed with this top i feel like i'm gonna wear this top with um jeans or maybe um oh shit or maybe um black leather trousers thoughts um yeah next up okay another version of this gorgeous green top a wee rouged um like what do they call that again turtleneck cute wee strap very nice very flattering perfect crop lovely with a wee pair of jeans um one of those things that you can wear with like just a grey joggy and some trainers or you can dress up for like a night out you could wear with like jeans like this and heels or you could wear like leather trousers get make it a bit more autumnal because i feel like green and black is really really cool i used to think it was only like halloweeny but i actually think it's very cool especially black leather with green i think it's a pretty cool look but yeah they had this top in a lot of different versions and i think i prefer this one to the other one i liked that one but that one wasn't like as um that one's more me but i would never usually pick something like this and i actually love it i feel like it's very very flattering on it looks very cute um, and then I have one last top and yeah I'll show you on. I do not know why but the chain for this is so 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 cold. <sighs> trying to get used to it. I think this room's bloody freezing but um, it's a wee green line crop which is very very cute but business in the front, party in the back. How nice is that? No really love, very very cute for a knit. I've never seen one like it obsessed with the colour. Again, that these extra long sleeves is something about them. There's something very high fashion about them. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. And then anything for me that's ribbed, obsessed, but a ribbed knit, it, there's something about it. It's just so flattering. Anyway, thank you so for, so much for watching and I hope you like this wee haul. Um, it's a very, very cute um bundle of clothes for autumn winter and um, don't forget to use my discount code which i'll leave on screen again for you um, and i'll link all the items below and i hope you enjoy the rest of this video thank you so much for being here i've done this hairstyle um and now i hate it i don't know why i've done that um but off i go for the tattoos bit nervous um i yeah i don't know why i'm pretty sure i'm missing like I never do it. I think it's because like I'm on my period and like I just feel a bit like stressed because of the day that we've had. I've not really eaten a lot and um, the dogs were being bad boys and the brunch places, well no they weren't being bad boys but like they were just like doing dog things and like it was just making me anxious because I felt like they were annoying everyone. Even though everyone was probably just like well they're puppies so calm down. But by the way, the landlord came and took the thing off. Sorry, I actually said my landlord's not helpful, but he's actually a legend. It's the letting agency, Wowzers. It's like it's like an office full of receptionists, at doctors or dentists. Lipstick on my teeth, that's nice. Do you know the energy I'm talking about? Just all mean, unhelpful ladies that hate their job and for some reason are so mean to me and Sean. Anyway. Off I go for my tattoos, going to pop into a wee vintage shop first because there's a nice big mirror in there and I'm going to go for a wee selfie of this outfit because Sean had to rush off um, and can't help me with my photos. Anyway, I'm going to have this ripple that he got me because I need some energy. Um, I'm so buzzing about the tattoos. Anyway. Right, so I'm obviously a bit shy in here, right? But I'm just going to show you what I got before I end up not talking and just filming getting the actual tattoo, right? Here's good, by the way. This on my back. Then I want this, you guy. And then I want this for Dwighty. This is for Sunny. On the back of my neck. Tell me what you think below. Or don't, because I'll be offended. Obviously I've been in there a few times like since I moved and like people are staring at me. <laughs> um and so I know him like not besties but like I feel like I know him quite well now. Um where am I going, sorry? I'm going the wrong way. Um so obviously like I'm not like hundred percent 
confident to like film with him, but I thought, if, and like at least I know him. Ah. Oh, thank you. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Did you? I hope you heard what he said there. He just said like, keep doing what you're doing. Basically, that's nice. Anyway, so I thought, like I know him, I'm not that embarrassed about. Um, filming with them but it was it was so busy so I thought no nah, I'm not doing that um, it, it was the busiest I've genuinely ever seen it there was about 40 people getting it and getting tattoos and there was so many tattoo artists in there as well and I was like I'm sorry but this just it's not for me to get the camera out so anyway I will show you my tattoo tour like when I get back I think my favorite one's my wee strawberry um, but I got a wee one on my shoulder says baby what was that for don't know i just thought it was cute seen it on pinterest thought getting that then i got one from my little dwighty boy um on my ankle that one was fucking agony um but i don't like really show that i'm in pain because i'm too embarrassed and then i got one on my neck that says sunny um, it's just to go with all my other neck ones because I like when I wear my hair up and they peek through, super cute. And they're very quick and easy. I would recommend ta neck tattoos, they're not sore at all, in my opinion. Like a bit nippy, but like not sore. Anyway, going to my car now. I should have eaten before I left because I'm really, really hungry now. Um, I'm going to go home and have everything that's in the fridge. It's just quite annoying because I don't actually think there is food. No, actually, there's like things like baby bit. I may have like a packet of crisps, a packet of sun bites, and like a baby bell because it's like before my dinner, but it's too late for lunch. And I had like quite a big brunch this morning, so there's literally no excuse for me to be this hungry. But anyway, um, oh my god, the looks you get, man. My ankle's fucking so sore, by the way. That was agony. Had the baby bell. I had some veggie straws. There wasn't a lot left in the packet, so quite gutted about that. Um, but they are really tasty but wanted to show you something remember the other day I w in, my other, in my other vlog I was showing you that I made these well here they are let me show you the inside mm. guys guys it's like ice cream I cannot explain to you how good these are that's my second tray. Dark chocolate, if you haven't watched the other vlog. Dark chocolate, um, date, crunchy peanut butter in the middle. It's like wee bits of ice cream. I thought I would just give you a quick tattoo tour because I've never done that. And the guy at the tattoo thing next to me, he was doing tattoos on somebody else. He said, how many do you have? And I was like, 15. After, after today, 15. And I was like, yeah, fucking minute. I have quite a lot of tattoos. Looking at me, you wouldn't know. Because they're all like this. Such a buzz getting them. They're so fun and colourful and creative. So, yeah. I'm booked in next Monday for... How many am I getting with that person? Sean gets me these when I'm like not feeling that great. Seems to be because he brought one to hospital when I was in hospital. And today I wasn't feeling well in the car when we were locked out. He must look at me and think she needs energy. No, I'm getting three. And then I have one more that I want. And then that's it. Like, I just call it a day because I feel like I've got everything for someone. I sometimes get one from my brother actually. But like for this year, I'm done. Um, yeah, anyway, so where will I start? So I have these butterflies. So they were for like my mirror being Lily. And I think there was discussion of them getting, us getting them matching, but then no one ever bothered. So thanks guys. I'm um, so glad I went and got them on my own. And then I have, this is really hard, um, the one that Megan picked for me. Can you see that? And then I just got that one there. And that says Sunny. And then, 
Can you see this? If I, this is really hard. It says mum and dad somewhere. Can you see that? Obviously for my mum and dad. And then I feel like I can show you the rest not in here. So today I got this little strawberry and then I've got the name of my house here. I've got an S for Sean here. I've got an M for Megan here and she's got the same, got we matching one. And then what's a YouTube friendly way of showing this one? I have one here saying doll. Me and Megan both have that too because we like call each other doll. I have this wee four leaf clover here because obviously. And then today I got this one here on my shoulder and like kind of comic sans writing that says baby again we'll insert picture once it's healed and then i have this cowboy hat because um that was my uncle john's nickname um so i got a cowboy hat and then i have these cherries she has a wee smiley face in quite cute look i'll show you the little thing that's pure nice um that skin hanging off i wore really bad shoes the other day and then this is my new one um, you can see the top half of it here. I will show you the full thing when it's um, healed. But that is an outline of Dwight Shroot. Dwight Shroot from the office. I look pure good tonight. Um, so I thought I would get that from my Dwighty boy dog. And what else do I have? Is that it? Because... Let me count if that's him. Oh. So I have this wee, can you see it? Daisy on my ear. My little cousin Daisy, who you know is bridesmaid at my wedding. That's her name. So I got her one too. Because I love her. Um, and I feel like that is it. Um, the next ones I'm getting are my favourite song. And then this wee like shoe that I like. And then my last one is awesome ear ones. And then that's it for just now. Um, that's it. Um, and then I want like one more and then I'll leave it for a while unless me and Megan get any. Um, we're thinking of having a tattoo artist at our um, event. So I might get one then. Um, I might get like a Christmas themed one. Jesus wept, my dogs are annoying. Yeah, so that is my tattoo tour. I will finish the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry, it's a bit all over the place. Um, but I hope you enjoyed the Kaya try on haul as well. Um, I'm excited for their brand to like um, flourish because flourish, ha, um, because it's a new brand and I know it's owned by another bigger brand and I just feel like I have a lot of faith in them and I'm happy to be starting their journey with them and I've liked all the wee bits that they've sent me out and um, I enjoyed this wee video. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you like my tattoos. Lots of love, bye!